Hello there, and uh, we've got another radio to do. It's the Midland 77095, and this radio belongs to my good friend, the Electric Man, who is also a fellow radio ham, and he particularly bought this off eBay recently because it was the first CB radio that he had, and of course that uh, sparks an interest which wanted him to become a proper licensed radio amateur whereas I'd gone a different route and I became licensed as a radio amateur in 79 and uh, Citizens Band Radio didn't come out till the end of, um, of November, during November 1981 so I was already licensed and um, I kind of only got into Citizens Band Radio because as a commercial two-way radio engineer we were getting one or two customers coming in asking for professional service to citizens band equipment when I was service manager at Nottingham Radio so that's why I'm always happy to do these because we all know they can end up being bodged so um, I managed to there's a circuit diagram lurking around on the internet and I've been able to do a scan of the scan and basically that's going to be VCO, which hopefully we won't have to touch. Nine, eight, nine, ten, and three are the transmitter. One, two, three, six, four, six there will be received. And transformer five is that? I can't, it's such a bad uh, thing because it's been blown up so much, is the detector. And then it says quite clearly here that we've got deviation, power and squelch and the only thing really wrong with this is um, electric man is that the squelch is too harsh but I'm nevertheless going to go through it um, I'll set up the camera on the other channel so you can see the transmitted power so I'm going to switch it on oh this this was the start of the cheapest sets it's a uh, made in China I'm not saying everything inherently made in China is cheaper but uh, these did tend to be riddled with dry joints. So we'll switch on. And uh, oh, it boots up on channel 9, does it? We'll put it to channel 20, it's a green display. And let's see what it's doing. And the answer is it's doing 3 watts. Right, I'll just pause the video and set up a camera onto the picture-in-picture -picture channel. This radio is so lightweight, it's waltzing all over the bench just on the curl in the mic lead. So, I'm going to start with... Um, I can hardly read this. I think it's 8, yes it's 8, L8, T8, Transformer 8. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just put it onto full power first because it can affect the tuning. So key it up. We're in So that's five, that's four. A one it's two and a half watts as it is. So we'll just pop that to full, so we're now it's about three point two watts. Nice peak there. What's a peak there? Where I'm sitting, I can't even see that coil here, but just looking at the closed circuit monitor, which you're seeing, I can. So there we go. So there's a little peak there. So it will just go over the four, so I'll just get that set 
Well, we'll set that to peak, and then we'll drop the power to four. What we don't want to do is to thrash the PA. You know, we've all seen these ridiculous modifications to, especially things like the Amstrad 901, like taking out the ballast resistor. And they come in here for service, and the next thing, of course, the driver transistor and the PA transistor need replacing, right? and they're just thrashing them. There's no, there's no leeway. It's like putting the accelerator on your car down to the, uh, down to the floor constantly. So that's just a bit on top of itself. We brought it up from two and a half watts to four watts. So that's fantastic. The electric man will be pleased. Um, so let's have a look at the deviation. Let's get our little oscillator out. And we've got just under two. I'll just give it the whistle test. <sighs> While it just wants a bit more, we want it between 2.2 and 2.5. So it's the preset VR4, which is there. So bring that to 2.2 on there. <sighs> Walla. Wallow. That's about where we want it to be. So that's going to be a bit louder for him. I was going to say, now we'll do the signal meter, but it doesn't have one, so that saved me the bother. It doesn't have high-low power, because it's after 2781. Um, although it is 2781, we're heading towards the, the later spec. So I think we've covered the... That's it. We've done it. We've got done the transmit. Well, that was so short, we'll do the receive on the same video. So I'll start by losing that camera. And we'll put the signal generator on. Pop the squelch down. Unsoldered the speaker, so I better plug into external strange got nothing this might be what he's talking about it may be that the squelch is so on No. Just see, we'll just put this across there. No. Now it's come on. Don't know what that's about. But it wants investigating as to why that is. back off again. Right, we'll put the signal drainer on. Oh, 
Okay, so I've got the signal drainage on. We're on channel 20, 27.79125. And I'll set the detector first. So I'll just align the other camera onto the oscilloscope. So that's the audio across the speaker. I've got 100 microvolts on the signal generator which is the S9 position and the idea with the detector is to get the peak recovered audio so it's coil 5 by looks at T5 which is the odd one out next to the filter and the squelch preset so let's see whether we can improve that Yeah, there was a very tiny improvement there, and that can make all the difference. So I'll pause the video again, and we'll put the camera onto the sign-out meter, and we'll do the tune-up on the receiver. So you always drop the signal generator to the least possible signal. Now, there, we've got the squelch coming in. Well, it's very sensitive. I don't think we'll be improving this. So we'll start with T1. T2. T3. T4. T5 I'm actually tempted to change the squelch preset on this because I think it's got wax on it I don't like the way the squelch is coming in and out even though it's on minimum squelch on the front and minimum squelch on the preset so I'll pause the video and I'll put a new preset in so moving on with this I've now replaced the squelch preset it was contaminated with wax but on this kind of circuit they don't the squelch doesn't perform how you expect it to be it goes into a kind of auto mute so if I pulled out the aerial connector, it would go as if it's squelched. Uh, I don't say I like that, but it's what these do. So, I'm going to set up the squelch now. And so, the camera is on the attenuator of the signal generator. So, we'll switch the... I've got the squelch to minimum. The signal generator off the attenuator to maximum switch the generator on so as you heard it, it came in for a fraction of a second and then it disappeared off so now we'll advance the attenuator so it's coming in 0 0.25 of a microvolt So now I'm going to advance the squelch to full, and we'll see, oh that's the volume, I've got it the wrong way around. And we'll see when it comes in now. So I want that to squelch out about, well so I'd like it to squelch out S9. So we'll advance the squelch preset.
Uh, it's a bit wishy-washy, isn't it? That it's only doing, it's only squashing out three microvolts. But that's set to maximum. So now we'll check the sensitivity at the other end to make sure we haven't made it insensitive. So signal drones are back on. So in conclusion with the squelch, we've now got it that on maximum opens at 10 microvolts. On minimum it's straight in at um, 0.3 of a microvolt. So not not my favourite part of this set. Again, there's no S meter to set. So really, that concludes it. I think we've covered everything. Just make sure it's on frequency. I should have done that on the transmit side. Just pop that camera off. There we go. I'll put the camera on the frequency counter. Right, so we'll key it up and unplug the extension speaker. 27791114 toggling 5. So the crystal reference. The mic doesn't come unplugged. I noticed the small screws missing out of the mic plug. I'll see if we've got some in stock. So we're on channel 20. So it should be 27.79.1.2.5. That'll do nicely. That's my new, that's really, is of no consequence. And it's got the original condenser mic with that, which is nice. So, basic set on a volume squelch, up and down channel only on the radio and PACB. So, there you have it the Midland 77099. I think they were about 1987. So, that can get find its way back to the electric man, Stuart. Uh, I think we'll do a, a um, I think we'll do an on the air test with it. Yes, we will. We'll do that this afternoon. Um, Mr. We're in the middle of this uh, awful coronavirus uh, lockdown, and uh, I'll see if Mr. Chippy doesn't get uh, pulled up by the army um, going on a scratchy corner test. <laughs> okay, well, it's official communications, isn't it, which is necessary. So, um, thank you for watching. Stay safe and look out for this on the on the air test.